what are your thoughts on the IBB? Oh, um, you have thoughts, I have thoughts. I, well, let's yeah, start. do you want to go with the uh, This is just like, or? I don't know if you guys know this. Uh, I guess there's no way for you to know this, but Andrew and I, um, who's affectionately on the desk referred to as the free bird, um, <laughs> Ad, Andrew Friedman and I sit beside each other. Um, he is a prolific modeler, I can tell you that. Uh, and this is, we'd be talking about this just like this. So it'd be, yeah. you know, So I would say biotech is signaling a media term trade over bot at 281 on the IBB. Uh, it is still bearish trend and has been throughout the year mm -hmm. and has a media term downside to 255. Yeah, and I would say that if you go back and look at what drives biotech performance, it's really the incremental fundraising dollar. Yeah. And if you look at the cumulative fundraising over the last, call it 20 years, you really see an incredible ramp. A bubble. A bubble. I mean, yeah, it looks like a bubble. Which it's actually bigger than most bubble charts I show. But it's, it's incredible. And, you know, what we did see is that the fundraising dollar kind of cracked. So you were accelerating growth. Growth stopped and effectively went negative. And that's when you saw, the, you know, kind of the beta effect happen to the biotech index. Now, the IBB has a lot of the larger cap um, profitable biotech companies, the Biogens yeah. of the world, Celgenes, et cetera. But what you really need to look at is the small cap unprofitable biotech companies that are trading at you know, multiples and multiples of their cash value when they have no profits, right? <laughs> so when before this whole crazy biotech t uh, bubble occurred, you, know, you had these companies trading at you know, two, three times their cash value, and then you saw that, of course, peak you know, close to 10, 12 times, and now it's since reverted. So you know, until, unless if you, know, if you want to be long biotech here, you really have to ask yourself, do you think that the fundraising environment yeah. is going to get incrementally better? And you know, biotech IPOs are down, venture capital fundraising's down. Yep. Slow growth is negative for um, risk appetites, which is negative for fundraising. You know, we saw a lot of, you know, I think last year was probably, uh, you know, a headline year for you know unicorns and you know <laughs> these. At the peak of fundraising. Yeah, exactly. So busting. So now all of a sudden, yep. people are less willing to take risks. So I would say, our sentiments align mm. on biotech. <laughs>